Breaking news for Breaking news 4.5 is now released for plus users that sure $20 a month users as opposed to your 200 so we can finally now use it as a normies so today we're going to cover this 4.5 release basically covering what is it how did the video go the release because that's a bit dodgy this idea of vibes a couple of examples and then the future of AI and the benchmarks and then we'll touch on a bit of deep sea cartoon what's been happening there so first things first let's go here well if I move this big bag of money out the way, uh, you'll see here that we now have a new model. So, obviously we have the normal ones, 4.0, 4.0, 0.1, 0.3, 0.3, the new ones, which obviously were only released because of R1. And then finally we have this new one, 4.5. So, the one thing I think here is why do we have so many models? It literally doesn't make any sense. Um, and also this 4.5 is their most expensive model yet. Um, we'll get into what I think about all these models uh, soon enough. So if you go and watch the video, which I don't even recommend you do, just watch my video, it will cover everything. Um, if you want you can go see it. But basically it's a super awkward presentation made by not presenters. Now I, I never wonder why to do this type of tutorial, right, to show you stuff or to just talk about supervised learning or something. Why they have the people who actually do it, surely they would make more sense if they were doing their stuff and you just got a presenter to do it, because it's super easy. Anyway, as you can see here, she's reading her script off the screen, which is crazy, bro. Anyway, so, the first thing I want to talk about before we get deep into the examples is vibes. So, there's this whole thing, vibes coding, basically talking to the LLM and just letting the LLM control the entire code base essentially and you just tell it stuff one this seems crazy because you're gonna like how are you gonna interact just with your voice it doesn't make any sense because normally you need like solid product design solid decision making etc etc and i know that it's supposed to be the llm that does that but then suddenly you're getting like a flavor of what the llm wants as opposed to what you actually want anyway but vide coding it's a big thing right now so here we have a couple of examples, and this actually isn't my screen brightness. This is the brightness of the screen and the the, the the video they made. So, fair enough. On the left hand side we have 4.5 and on the right we have 01. So that's the two they compare during this uh, presentation. And then have this thing. Oh, my friend cancelled on me again. Write them a text message telling me I hate them. Which I mean, that's a bit intense. But anyway, so the whole thing here is the 01. Is like, here's a blunt confrontational message. You know what? I'm done. I'm sick of it, bro. Which actually does kind of, kind of captures that, but it's actually even worse, to be fair. Because <laughs> they just tell you, mate, like, I hate you, bro, for cancelling on me. Isn't as intense as, you know what? I'm done. I'm sick of it. <laughs> bit rough. Anyway, 4.5 is like, sounds like you're feeling pretty frustrated. I totally get that. But maybe expressing your feelings clearly yet gently might be a better to preserve your friendship. How about something like, hey, I'm honestly pretty upset that the plans fell through again. I was looking forward to seeing you. Can we talk about what's going on? Yes, I kind of get it, right? Because the whole point in this here is essentially that, I had to freeze there for a moment just because my brain was like, this is, this is crazy. It's all about this EQ, emotional intelligence, right? Essentially, it's supposed to try and figure out social dynamics or whatever but like i feel like a the first problem here is this might just cleanse how you interact so it's gonna like make this bland kind of thing here take away the personality a little bit i don't know just a, a wonder and then the second thing too is it's like if this is your first demo for the new model what three minutes in first demo and it literally that is it i saw i didn't a failing model second good example so they go through, there's a couple of new guys, there's, there's a bit in the video where they just get up and walk out, these, uh, where are they, up here, these two guys, they just get up and walk out while she's talking, and then this, these two other guys just uh, sit down, which is crazy, and then she finishes talking after looking down here the whole time, and she's like, oh hi, <laughs> Crazy man. Maybe you should go watch the video just for a comic effect. But anyway, so they do uh, a kind of history like this is what GPT-3 looked like and it was just like, 
you know, rubbish. GPT-4, or GPT-2, 3, 4, 4.5. 4, they're like, they have this answer and, and then they critique it and they're like, it's a bad answer. So why is the ocean salty? The ocean's salty because it contains the minerals from their rocks. Here's how it happens, blah, blah, blah. And they explain here, they're like, they don't like this response because it feels like the LLM is trying to show you how smart it is. Which, I mean, I don't think I'm interacting with my person, so I don't care. And if I want them to be more concise, I just tell them, be concise. Lots every time, and then they forget. But then they go into 4.5, and they're like, this answer is amazing. Why is the ocean salty? The ocean salty because of rain, rivers, and rocks. Here's how it works. Bam, bam, bam. So, yes, I mean, look at the difference here. This one, rainwater, this one, rain falls on rocks. Rivers and streams, river carries these minerals. Accumulation, salt builds up. I mean, for you to be like, we've spent millions just so that it can talk nicer is absolutely bonkers. So, that's what this question mark is here. So, I have a funny feeling that this is the future of AI right now, like the immediate future, even the present, really, is that we have here a bunch of cartoon characters, and each one of these has a little personality. Here's Mr. Quiet, Mr. Rush, Mr. Happy, Mr. Perfect. Mr. Stubborn, Mr. Scatterbrain, Mr. Messy, and Mr. Nosy. There's no reason that these are all Misters. This was the first one that came up when I, I googled personality. And um, Google's bias, not mine. So, all of these here have ChatGPT's face on them. And that's because I have a funny feeling that, like, ChatGPT's and even just LLMs in general now, they're at that level where they can all search the internet, they, can, they all have the same kind of baseline knowledge. So, really, it's like, what personality do you want it to have? Which is just crazy because you can do that in a system prompt. So, yeah, because it's a weird one. I notice it all the time whenever I'm talking to, to LLMs, I'll be like, for example, sponsorship deal. I'm like, I want to do that sponsorship deal. How much do you think I should uh, ask them for? I'll give them the data. And then Grok will be like, $10,000. ChatGPT will be like, 700 and then you get another model Gemini or something and they'll be like I don't even know if you should ask for a sponsorship you should maybe tell them you'll pay them so it's just yeah anyway just everyone's thinking that it's going to control the whole world really they're just going to be uh, personality conversation bots which by the way that's what this whole thing is apparently it's just better at conversation so what does it look like on the benchmarks front so on here one of the biggest uh, selling points they say for it is this hallucination rate. So, lower is better on the hallucination rates. As you can see, O3 Mini has the highest um, hallucination rate. Why did they release it? I don't know. The 4.0, second highest, and then the O1, and then 4.5, so lowest uh, hallucination rate. And then the simple QA, so question and answer accuracy, higher is better, and it's much higher. So, it n appears to know more stuff and get less wrong or less made up which i suppose is good but i feel like the problem here right now we're having with ai is that the initial conception of ai at coming into being was absolutely crazy right these llms and then gradually they've got better and you're like you can search the internet with that's crazy but then like right now we just have oh yeah it can get 80 percent of coding questions right what could they get before 74 percent oh six percent so it's six percent more accurate yeah, but only on GitHub, uh, whatever issues. And then on my own code, it's like not even noticeably better. So anyway, yeah, I think we're expecting too much. That's kind of what I'm saying. At least I am. Comparative evaluation with human testers. So again, it's much better um, at these queries. And the whole thing here is supposed to be that it's better at conversation. And that's why. And so here, if we look at how does it actually go against the benchmarks, so 4.5, O3 Mini, so we have for science, O3 Mini's best, for math, O3 Mini's best, for software engineering, best, for this new one that they've just introduced in like the 18th of February, 4.5's best. Call me a cynic. Anyway, maybe they introduced it because they were going to use it to test. I'm just saying, I'm just saying what we're all thinking. Multilingual, it's better at more languages, and then multimodal, which isn't tested here. So, as you can see, from if we remove the brand new one, right, and look at it here, it's just better at multimodal, multilingual. So, it's not blowing anything out of the waters, it's just 
a little bit better. And the reason that that's kind of disappointing is because it was touted to be this amazing thing. Um, so, anyway, to X. What's Sam Altman saying about the future of AI based on this? So, the update for 4.5 and 5. So, if you're unaware, we're going kind of like this. So, we had like 2 to 3 to 4, and it's like 4, oh, and then 4.5, and then we have like the reasoning models that broke out, say so 01, 03, and then like they're supposed to kind of converge like this into then being 5, right, which is supposed to be like the closest to AGI we've gotten, so artificial general intelligence, i.e. like a human. So we have this here, the roadmap that he posted. And initially people were, you can pause and read it if you want, but initially the vibe that people were getting was actually what's going to happen here is that 5 is going to be a router. So see these arrows going in? That instead, actually, if we remove that, these arrows would go out such that essentially what you would have is a model which routes or routes your... I can't believe I just said route. Which routes your specific query based on what it is, because each of these is better at something than the other, right? Um, even if it's just slightly. But apparently not, apparently it is coming. Um, we just don't really know when. Um, so yeah, that's the current state of it. It's all right. So let's talk about R2 very briefly. We'll say R2 is coming. So DeepSeek R1 like blew everybody away. Well, they'll now try to make an R2 and they're rushing to make it. So they're saying that it'll probably come before May, and as to whether it will be free or not, people are saying that, you know, DeepSeek now accepts US forms of payment, so they're probably going to set up some sort of subscription service. And they'll need to, because if ever you try to use the API, everything always said busy, which was an absolute nightmare. Um, not even the API. I couldn't set up the API because it was so busy. Even just using the actual model, it's so busy all the time. Um, so yeah, before May, people are thinking... Because uh, there's a, I can't remember what it's called, but there's a specific Chinese holiday in April and it ends in like April 5th. So they're thinking maybe like April 6th that it's come out, something like that. Or it starts on 7th. Anyway, this date has been thrown around online. Uh, and what's it really going to bring? Multilingual reasoning, so the same kind of thing that 4.5 was focusing on. Advanced coding abilities, which they're always focusing on. And multimodal functionality. So basically processing different formats and stuff. Again, all the kind of stuff that we're just talking about for 4.5. So, this last chunk here, I just brought it in because I thought, right, this video is about GPT, and then we briefly covered DeepSeek just because R2 is kind of up in there right now. Um, but let's not forget, Grok just like come onto the scene, and Gemini's just popped out with their like 2 million token thing. And so if Gemini can really like, you know, clamp down a little bit on being a bit better. Um, you know, maybe have a fighting chance. But anyway, so this is the current landscape. 4.5 has just been released. Is it good? Yeah, it's all right. Is it, you know, mind-blowing? No. Should you use it, go give it a try if you want. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.